Praise be to God. Let's put our hands and wave to God. Let's hey, to one came for what he has done today. Prophet Dawdi. Ah, Prophet Nabi Dawdi. Yes. As I stayed here, I have said I came at the one. I fell to the presence of God. I fell to the spirit of revival moving around. And thank you for accepting God to use you. The greatest two commandments are love your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Praise be to God. Love the neighbor as you love yourself. Praise be to God. Love the neighbor as you love yourself. If you don't mind. The message of righteousness is what Uganda needs now. It's what the church of God needs now. It is a true message from our God. The God of Jacob and the God of Abraham. So we are very happy today, prophets, for receiving this anointing. I want to thank Sister Jennifer and your husband for inviting me to partake of this anointing. For inviting me to partake of this anointing. I leave ginger very energized. I leave ginger very energized. I also want to thank the people of Ginger for loving us, for loving President Joey for supporting and electing our MP Loy and Blendon who are here. They are very hard working members of parliament and we are supporting them to industry. Socialize ginger and the country. The Bible says that we shall be the head, not the tail. This message we have received of righteousness commands us to work hard so that we can be the head, not the tail. We must work hard to end the bondage of mass poverty in Ginger and in Uganda. Uganda. Because now Busoga is the second poorest region in the country. That is the end. The, the prophet talked about the Nabi Ayogede Kubulibu Enguzi Jennifer wanted me to use her mic when the prophet is giving a mic Can you imagine? Nabi Ayogede Kubulibu Enguzi I received this anointing in the name of God Nange Gana Amafuta Angatua La Minyari Ayes he talked about corruption and asking why are we not changing. In Uganda, 80%, 85 is Christian. And they are the people occupying offices. You ask yourself, where are they corrupt coming from? They come from us. We must repent. And to repent you must be holy. You must avoid the ten command, uh, follow the ten commandments. And he spoke very well about sin. Where there is sin, there is no righteousness. And where there is holiness, there is no sin. So we are happy. 
here. And we can even be here. Until morning. Because this is the message. This is the message our country needs. So we will appeal to you. Be holy. Work hard. Develop your households. And end the poverty in our homes. I bring you greetings from our president, President Joy Museven. President. Tomorrow, me and Helen and Jennifer, we shall be with him in the morning. And we shall tell him that the man of God we have seen in Jesus. He is a man, it's part of the will. Amen. 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 Jennifer told us one time in the cabinet about this church. We could not believe. But now I have believed. Now you can believe. So we thank him. Robert. Nabi. We thank you and keep praying for us. We pray for you. Me and Jennifer. And sometimes Helen. We attend the prayer breakfast. Every Thursday from seven to seven thirty. And because of our God, Jennifer is in Parliament for the fifth Parliament. Jennifer, you are very much excited. And I'm in the parliament for the fourth Term. And Helen is in the parliament for the third term. And we continue to be there to be there to be there. Because we believe in the living God. Thank you very much and God bless each one of you. I thank you so much. Honorable Minister. Minister. Baba Oife. Prophet David. Honourable ministers present. All leaders available. All people and all believers. Praise be to our Lord. Give the applause to the stars. Thank you so much. Baba Nabi, our dad the prophet. To see me in Okubonolo Arero. We are so happy to see you today. Nzaliwa Nakavango Idi. I'm born from. I'm a born of Nakavango. Our very dear Ndatuliba Mukisa. Ginger people, we are so blessed. So God Tuliba Mukisa. We so God, we are much blessed. That the great man of God who is not only limited to Uganda, but the whole world, see you now, comes from our area here. Baba Nabi, Dad Prophet, whatever they said was so important and great. but as you have come to Jinja this is the right time it has been timely on to the right people we need deliverance in Jinja district whatever the prophet mentioned a deceit a false allegation all those queer, queer habits. So, ministers. All the ministers in this church. There are so many supporters of mine. We support NRM 100 percent. As, as you said. That you'll tell the president if there are people to partner with, it's this church. It is Because the support is a hundred percent. The support is hundred percent. In this church, as he taught about sin and righteousness. There's no room for sin in this church. They sort you out, you must change or you quit. 
We are leaders. We are Ugandans. We are born and we are brought up in our homes and families. But at some point, discipline is lost. I think this is the time. For Uganda as a nation, we begin adopting the discipline. Respect. Hard work. In this church, honorable ministers, there is no hunger. You have to work. There is food security. They are workers. With those few words, I would add the prophet. We thank the message you are portraying to the people. And the Ugandans, wherever you are. All the people from all over, including the Kenyans, let us follow the true gospel, the gospel of righteousness, the gospel of hard work, that we get out of poverty. We follow government programs. Let us repent of all, let us get rid of corruption. All your, your, uh, your sons of this district, Brandon, Brandon, they were supposed to be part of this function but they know what's happening you are here and they are today praise God praise God God is good and all the time I know the time I want to say I am impressed. I have seen the man of God at work. I have seen real preaching. I have seen real preaching. And what he has preached is what God is saying. Why do people who go to church not change? Uh-huh. And today we have come here to preach that same message. And I want to take you through the programs of government. Right, right from the Bible, God told Adam and Eve, you must work. If you don't want to work, don't eat. If you don't want to work, don't eat. So, you people from this side, we need to start working hard. There's nobody who's going to help you if you don't work. When we get righteousness, we need to go and work. And today I'm surprised here there are no baskets where they are putting small, small. One day my president said, people are poor, but you bring them to bring only one kikado. One kikado, you are moving to the father. Um, we want you to be righteous as well as making money. And the money will come because you believe in God, God will make you rich. And the same Bible says, the three people who were given money, they were told to give money. When their master gave them this, one of them worked very hard, he got more money. Another one tried to work and he also got something. Then one said, boss, you are very difficult. I don't know whether Nabi with Dawood is difficult, but the other one, boss, you are very bad. And he kept that one. But when the master came back, the master picked from this one and also added on the other one. So there is no miracle in working hard. Soon or later, we are coming down to talk about the parish development model where money is coming down to the people. And I know Prophet Daud has taught us about issues of corruption. Why do you steal? The Bible says don't steal. Why do you steal? 
But you find us tomorrow they will bring money we want to steal. And when you steal we don't have anything for tomorrow. Ah, and when you steal we don't have anything for tomorrow. But if we have righteousness I know this seed will grow. And I want to believe. The majority of people here are who are going to be multiplied if this message goes like this. The projects of government are going to succeed. And when he was talking, I was like, you know corruption, even us. You know corruption, even us. When we go to offices and see good money, you say, mm -hmm, let me use it for my family. But at the end of the day, somebody told me even if you build hotels, nobody will come to that hotel. If you want to buy vehicles, nobody will drive those cars. Because it is cast money. So let us remain in righteousness. Let us change our mindset. Everything he has talked is about our brains. Because the Ten Commandments have been with us, but we turn to ignore them. So we need to start following that, and I think life will be better. Thank you for listening. Thanks a bunch. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. God bless you. God is good. Hey, where are they now?